February 2nd, 2017. It's already been a pretty active day as far as earthquakes are occurring across the globe once again. As I've been saying over the past several weeks that these earthquakes are going to continue. They're going to increase in frequency and also magnitude. On top of all of that, we have another very, very large coronal hole that will be facing the earth very, very soon. And this is not going to end. We're looking at anywhere from a five to seven day stretch of this increased earthquake activity because of this large coronal hole. Now, something else that I've discovered today, and I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to show you this picture right now because uh, the photograph that was sent in to me um, earlier today was quite startling. And once again, we are seeing a flyby, as I call it, of possibly Nibiru, or Planet X. Now, two weeks ago, we thought that there was another flyby that was in Bordeaux, France. It took quite a long time for that to register on the meteor site. And I do believe that the object that was passing by over Bordeaux, France, was a very, very large meteor. It did not impact the ground. However, subscribers of the Nibiru channel in Erie, Pennsylvania, along the lake shore, captured this photograph. I think it was yesterday. I'm really not sure on the timing. I'm gathering more information on this. Uh, several more photographs are coming in. And folks, what you're seeing on your screen right now, it's not, it's not a contrail lit up by the sun. It's not an airplane. So, you know, please just save those comments. This, this was seen by a lot of people in broad daylight. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to rotate this just so it, it kind of fits the screen a little bit better so we can see it. Now, I've blown this up a little bit, and I'm, I'm, I'm apologizing right now for the little distortion in the photograph. But you can clearly see, clearly, that is not a jet airplane of any kind. And what we've been noticing is when these flybys occur, the magnitude of earthquakes seems to increase. Not only do we have the intense pressure being placed on the earth from the coronal holes from the sun, on top of that, the additional pressure, the additional energy from this planet, placing this energy on earth has to be at fault for some of these earthquakes and also the increased magnitude. Now, earlier today, there was a magnitude, I think close to a six in Peru and also in the Fiji Islands. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you more photographs later on today as I get them in from Erie, Pennsylvania along the lake shore. And they're absolutely incredible. But once again, you know, as you can clearly see, this is not a contrail from an airplane and that is sure as hell not a plane. But anyways, Let's go ahead and uh, let's jump straight over to the, the 3D Earth Tracker, Earthquake Tracker. Now, this is just the last 24 hours. And there's a lot of activity going on. A lot of activity over near the country of Italy, in the South Pacific, in the region of Alaska and the Aleutian Islands, Southern California, Mexico, South America, Russia, Japan. You know, we might as well just say the whole entire globe is rocking and shaking. And everybody just needs to open up their eyes and consider that, listen, this is not normal. And I ask you, after you watch this video, just sit down for a few minutes and think to yourself, when in your lifetime, have you ever seen, heard, or experienced what is happening? Because in my 48 years, I've never seen anything 
like this. Yes, we have earthquakes. Yes, we have meteors that pass through our atmosphere and sometimes hit the surface of Earth. But unfortunately for us right now, it seems to me that like the Earth is almost under attack. And we're going to keep monitoring this, and we are not out of the woods as far as the earthquakes go. Now, what I'm about to show you as far as this, this new coronal hole, and I've been watching it for days. I saw this coronal hole forming on the other side of the sun days ago. And this one is a monster. So we're going to go ahead and check that out right now. Let's just pull that up. This is a 48-hour piece of video footage. As you can see the date down there, it's going to run from the 31st, the 1st, into the 2nd. And that is a very, very, very large coronal hole. The possibilities of it getting larger, well, that's definitely a possibility. It is going to be turning towards Earth and aligning with Earth probably within the next 48 hours. And yes, the solar winds will increase. Yes, the radiation levels around the Earth will increase. And yes, the earthquake activity on this planet, it's going to increase. The only thing that we can hope for is that the magnitude of these earthquakes does not increase. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to see an earthquake that will probably tip a magnitude 7 and hopefully not an 8. But that is a monster, a monster of a coronal hole. And just with the sighting of this flyby, over Lake Erie, I think it was yesterday or maybe the day before. And, you know, now we're having some very serious earthquake issues. And we're going to go ahead and jump right on to the, the live earthquake map. And as you can see, we had a 5.9 six hours ago in Peru. 4.2 in Argentina. Right along the Atlantic Ridge, the Northern Atlantic Ridge, a 4.7. As we pan over into the South Pacific, Indonesia, a 4.5. And then in the South Fiji Islands, a 6.3. And then an aftershock of a 6.3. And then a 4.7 in Vanuatu, and then another 4.6. So as I've been saying over and over again, these earthquakes are definitely going to increase in magnitude and they're going to increase in frequency. I mean, we just had this, this massive little swarm of earthquakes in Southern California in the small town of Brawley, California the other day. Now they've taken the majority, there's Brawley right there, small community, mostly all residential. Now they've removed the majority of those earthquakes that occurred there. I did speak with a few people from the area. They did have a little bit of damage and mainly it was underground pipes, uh, sewage pipes, water lines, things of that nature that cracked and were ruptured. But you could see the swarm moved straight up the line and then a magnitude 2.16, which is very, very small, but it moved right up the line into Los Angeles. Now, moving further up the coast, there were some earthquakes that were going off once again in that region right across the border into Nevada. And I believe it is uh, Hawthorne, Nevada. They had a magnitude 2.9, but these earthquakes were literally just, it seemed like they were just stacked on top of each other. And you can see clearly a 2.9, a 3.6, a 2.4. So this is kind of an uninhabited region here. So it's very unlikely that anyone actually felt that, but then again, you never know. Now, moving up into Alaska, and Alaska was, was kind of quiet for a few days, and then a 3.4, and then all of these swarms of earthquakes throughout this region. And this is usually where the earthquake activity occurs in Alaska. So once again, if you live in an area where you are prone to earthquake activity, 
or you live in an area that has earthquake activity and you live in a coastal area near the ocean, please heed these warnings. Heed these warnings because you know that you're not going to get any type of warning of an earthquake. You may get a forecast of the possibilities of an earthquake, but you know, the bells and whistles are not going to go off and say, earthquake, earthquake, run for cover. You know, I spoke with a lot of people in California over the last few days, and they were telling me that, you know, some of them were in bed sleeping when, when some of these uh, earthquakes went off. Very, very startling. And, you know, you, you're kind of disoriented. You don't know what's going on. It's best to have an emergency plan, an escape plan, something of that nature. So, again, if you live in these areas, anywhere around the world, make sure that you have a contingency plan to get to safety. Maybe, you know, even put together, um, you know, a little, a little a, a bag or a backpack with some, you know, supplies, a, a little medical kit, a couple bottles of water, you know, medications, whatever you feel you need to put in there to run out of the house and get to safety. Because when these larger earthquakes do occur, you know, falling objects, you know, falling plaster, drywall, wood, whatever it is, hitting you in the head could knock you unconscious, could leave you basically laying in your house as it crumbles. So please heed these warnings because over the next five to seven days, the earthquake activity around this globe is going to get worse. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind. So if anybody is in any of these earthquake zones and you've actually gone through some of these smaller quakes, I'd love to hear from you either in the comments section under the videos or drop me an email at Nibiru. PlanetX2016 at gmail.com, and I'd love to hear from you. So once again, please heed the warning. We do have a very, very large coronal hole preparing to pass by Earth and align with Earth over the next several days. It's a monster. And once again, we don't know completely about what is going on in our inner solar system it's almost like the earth is is being given this one two punch like a combination punch we have these coronal holes coming at us the solar winds the radiation you know i was checking radiation levels uh for the whole entire month of december and you know we've had some occurrences where solar radiation has literally encompassed the entire earth and it's all on some of the, the magnetosphere models that we use. And I was looking at them today, and they were very, very alarming. Uh, you could literally see all of this radiation coming in and surrounding the entire Earth for hours. And this is the type of radiation. You, know, you, don't, you don't want to be exposed to this for long periods of time. This is the type of radiation that causes melanoma and cancers. So heed these warnings, and I am going to uh, gather some more information on the sighting that we had up in Erie, Pennsylvania. And uh, again, I just turned this photograph to the side so you can see a larger, larger version of this. And once again, you know, this is not a contrail from an airplane. There were multiple people that saw this. There are more photographs coming in. And I'm going to be putting them together and showing them to all of our subscribers, all of our viewers. So within the next few hours, please stay tuned. If you do not have your notifications set up for our YouTube channel, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, click on the little bell, set your notifications up to stay updated. And stay tuned. We'll have another update for you on these photographs within the hour. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 2nd, 2017. It's already been a pretty active day as far as earthquakes are occurring across the globe. Once again, as I've been saying over the past several weeks that these earthquakes are going to continue. They're going to increase in frequency and also magnitude. On top of all of that, we have another very, very large coronal hole 
that will be facing the earth very, very soon. And this is not going to end. We're looking at anywhere from a five to seven day stretch of this increased earthquake activity because of this large coronal hole. Now, something else that I've discovered today, and I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you this picture right now because uh, the photograph that was sent in to me um, earlier today was quite startling. And once again, we are seeing a flyby, as I call it, of possibly Nibiru, or Planet X. Now, two weeks ago, we thought that there was another flyby that was in Bordeaux, France. It took quite a long time for that to register on the meteor site. And I do believe that the object that was passing by over Bordeaux, France was a very, very large meteor. It did not impact the ground. However, subscribers of the Nibiru channel in Erie, Pennsylvania, along the lake shore, captured this photograph. I think it was yesterday. I'm really not sure on the timing. I'm gathering more information on this. Uh, several more photographs are coming in. And folks, what you're seeing on your screen right now, it's not, it's not a contrail lit up by the sun. It's not an airplane. So, you know, please just save the